A familiar place. A familiar convenience, but none of it would be possible without the toil, the tears, the tragedy of the worker gnomes who inhabit the Krerar library stacks. Who are they? Why are they here? And why are they being forced to hide in the shadows? I came to find out. Look closely. What do you see? Streetlights? Bookshelves? Students? Concrete walls? Look closer. We've come to Krerol Library in the dead of the night because these gnomes are nocturnal, with a G. Some don't believe that the gnomes are all around, but historical evidence reveals the truth. John Krerol was half-gnome himself and thus able to convince the library's first gnomes to work for free, but over time, this system has taken an enormous toll on the gnomes. The gnomes work in the dark. They were blinded long ago by the garish fluorescence. I may be here, but where are the gnomes? Do you hear that noise? The worker gnomes power these engines. The gnomes' supernatural abilities allow them to move the books, but sometimes the blind gnomes make mistakes and you will see... Book covers that are upside down. Books in the wrong language section. They sleep inside tiny stools. They feed on the chalk from the study rooms. One's been here recently. Do you see it? In the shadows. Run. They've seen us. Shelled by call number or by exploited workers. Cuidado indeed. Exploitation happens here. The gnomes are saying, help me. Can you hear them? Wait, is that one there? <laughs> 